we have a new model in town glm 4.5 is the new open source model from z.ai a chinese ai company it excels in reasoning coding and agentic abilities they're introducing two versions one is the glm 4.5 which has 355 billion total parameters and 32 billion active parameters they also have a lighter version which is GLM 4.5 Air with 106 billion total parameters and 12 billion active parameters. Now both these models, they unify reasoning, coding and agentic capabilities into a single model. Basically they have two modes of operation, for example the thinking mode here, so they are working on a hybrid reasoning models, the thinking mode for complex reasoning and tool using and the non-thinking mode for instant responses you can go ahead to z.ai to check this out you can use their api at z.ai you can go to github and hugging face to get the model weights of course this is a huge model would not be possible to run on your local pc you can of course use the apis that they have provided now the underlying principle and the thing that they're trying to address is that most of the models are generally good for specific tasks there are so many models with a variety of domains but they're not specialized and there are some models which are designed for specific tasks but this model they're trying to accomplish everything with the same model so they have the thinking mode they have the non-thinking mode this model the same model without any fine tuning can excel in reasoning coding and agentic abilities so this is what they're trying to do so looking at the benchmarks they have uh, compared this with 12 benchmarks covering agentic three numbers reasoning seven and coding two and overall we can see that glm 4.5 stands is ranked at place third and glm 4.5 which is a lighter version it ranks at sixth position so the top one being o3 and then grok 4 it stands on third position but but still it excels when compared to the other wonderful models that we have for example kimi k2 gpt 4.1 deep seek cloud opus so those are good models now looking at the agentic benchmark you can see that it stands second just after o3 and uh, glm 4.5 air it stands at fourth position in terms of reasoning it stands at a seven and eight position in terms of coding it stands at third and sixth position so different agentic tasks so for different benchmarks you can see that it stands in the first and second place for tall bench for tall bench airline retail and uh, bfcl multi-turn benchmark these are the different results uh, given in the tabular form also you can see on the x-axis we have the model parameters here on the y-axis the SWV benchmark score so you can see that on the lesser size models it performs very well and can be compared with Kimi K2 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's even better than Gemini 2.5 Pro and it's slightly lower than Kimi K2. You can see this, uh, we have average tool calling success rate comparison. So GLM 4.5 stands at the first position and looking at the tokens per round for different LLMs, you can see that it is similar to Kimi K2. Now let's look at some of the examples here. So GLM 4.5 enhances the complex code generation capabilities. You can see that this is the Flappy Bird uh, example code that they have generated. You can go watch the full trajectory at z.ai and you can see how it was able to uh, generate it was able to generate this flappy bird game so write a flappy bird game for me in a single html page keep the gravity weak so that the game is not too hard so you can go ahead and start the game and play the game so let me try this okay going good okay let's look at some other examples so if you go to next here this is the first person maze runner so click to start okay this is the maze game looks pretty good it's pretty good all the functions work here let's look at the next one 
The next is a to-do list with drag and search. So we have this to-do list. We can delete. Are you sure want to delete? And you can add task, add different task, save task. We need to fill the details here and add this. Pretty good. Next, we have evolution of large language models. So we have rule based Eliza and the end we have AGI and large language models here. Next, we have the Python simulation of nested spinning hexagons. And uh, this is pretty good. Next, we can see that it's Beamer's lights with Maxwell equations. So you can see uh, the equations, uh, the PPTs that it was able to generate. This is a PDF file. I believe and it's wonderful the next task is a slight creation so we can use glms 415 powerful agentic tool use and html coding capabilities and you can develop different uh, ppts and poster uh, so we can see this example this is the tajet poga chair and you can see that it's pretty good next you can see that chat glm family of large language models this is a ppt on this model itself and that's pretty good so you can see all these uh, PPTs, which are pretty good. Next, we have the Mona Lisa inner monologue. So we have this PPT. Next, we have this Big Bang Theory. This is a show about the show, the main characters, awards and achievements. And we have the cultural impact and iconic elements. Then we have Find Your Friend Forever, Pet Adoption. And then we have full stack development examples. So GPT 4.5 excels in both the front end and the back end development. So this is the Pokemon Pokedex Live, and uh, you can see this is pretty good. Next example is medieval poem generation. So we can ask it to generate a poem. Then we have cyberpunk card AI generator. So you can generate card, put in the title here, let's say, and generate the card. Okay, generate card. It's synthesizing and it's going to generate the card. So these are different examples of full stack development uh, using GLM 4.5 and it's amazing. So my collection, and I can go to, this is your cards. So how to get started? Uh, we can go to Z.AI platform. You can use APIs. You can go ahead and serve this locally using Hugging Face and Model Scope, you just download the model and you can use VLLM and SGLang. But we do need a smaller model for this. Uh, in the normal PCs, it's very difficult to work. So let's look at the example that uh, we have seen. So I've created this uh, solar uh, system simulation example here, which uh, this is the command, uh, code is solar system simulation. And you can see that this is pretty good. So we can see that we have the Sun, the Mercury, Venus, Earth, and you can see the Moon rotating around the Earth as well. And you can see the other, other uh, planets of the solar system. We can increase the, the speed of the solar system as well, speed of all the planets here. So this is just a single prompt and you can see the output, it's pretty fine, it's pretty good. So talking about the architecture, they have uh, adopted a mixture of experts architecture and unlike DeepSeek V3 and Kimi K2, they have reduced the width but increased the height of the number of layers as they found that deeper models exhibit better reasoning capabilities. So they want a better reasoning model as well. When the question is tough, they want to turn off the reasoning mode when the question is easy. Now you can see that for the pre-training, they have used 15 trillion pre-training corpus here. And then they have used a 7 trillion code and reasoning continual pre-training corpus here. And then in the mid-training also, they have used a 500 billion repo data code data here and synthetic reasoning data and long context and agent data here. So this is a mid-training process. They've used a uh, reinforcement learning for large scale models with slime. So this is another technology and the reinforcement training method that they have open source. You can use this framework to do the RL scaling. 
uh, this is not a slime so again for the post training uh, they have used uh, reinforcement learning with agentic capabilities so this is what glm 4.5 has to offer it's the flagship model it's open source it has mit license so you can use it for any task that you can imagine you can go ahead to uh, github and you can download this model go ahead to the hugging face and you can see that all these uh, models that you can download here are the glm 4.5 files and then you can see this files that you can download of course i'm waiting for a quantized version which i'll be able to use on my local system using uh, olama or anything like that so this is a 4-bit model mlx let's see the file size here this is again a very huge i need a smaller one and i'll wait for that but you can go ahead uh, to z.ai and test this out this is amazing for it's free for now they are providing the glm 4.5 model and it's amazing so test this out and let me know what you think of this model there are so many models coming up we have kimi k2 then we have quen 3 quarter and now we have glm 4.5 what do you think the future is leading to i'll see you in the next one have a nice day